As I age, I've noticed it gets harder and harder to read small print, and everything seems to just get a tad bit blurrier. I've never worn glasses or had really any reason to search out a good optometrist. Truthfully, I didn't have any idea where to begin. All of a sudden, I realized I need more information on this topic. So I met up with Dr. Travis Adlington and asked him what types of things people should look for when choosing an optometrist. That's a great question. I have the same questions myself when I look for a dentist or a medical doctor. Exactly. So I think one of the things you should look for, probably one of the most important is, do they have experience? Uh, people fresh out of school have an amazing amount of knowledge. But the real world being what it is, the bumps and grinds, you know, we've all been through those. So we have a lot of experience under our belts. And Cheryl, my wife and I are both fellows at the academy. Now that takes you to a whole new level of expertise in patient care. And I think we treat people how we want to be treated. I think we've all gone into places and been treated like a number. We treat our patients very special. We're honored that they trust us with their eye care. And I think people need to look for technology too. We embrace technology. We just have a new instrument that analyzes the whole visual system from the cornea all the way to the back of the brain. It's remarkable. So we can tell if anything is degrading the signal all the way from the front to the back, where and by how much. So it's really been remarkable. We, we love it. Our patients love it. Uh, we hear all the time, I've never had such a high tech exam and we're proud of that. And it helps us to do a better job. Well, I came here specifically to ask you because I know that you guys are the experts here in town. While I was at Adlington Eye Center, I learned that they are a Google Glass preferred provider. Wow, they are really staying up with all the latest and greatest in eyewear and eye care. And of course, you can never leave Adlington Eye Center until you check in with Dylan to see what new and fun things they have going on. Hi, I wanted to tell everybody about something really exciting that we're starting to do at Adlington Eye Center. We are going to have a frame of the month, every single month where we offer discounts on the frame or specials and uh, so some of the kinds of frames that we're going to be having are like these beautiful Chanel's that uh, have stingray skin on the front of them. Um, it's really neat, it's kind of sparkly and scaly, it's beautiful. Uh, these Alain Mickleys that are from France, they're actually handmade and take about six months for us to get. They're very, very special, very cool frames. And we'll be posting the information on the frame of the month on our Facebook page. So make sure to go there and like it and like us and stay tuned on all the awesome frames we're bringing to Reno. That was such a great show and I think it was so much fun to catch up with the Beav after all of these years and find out what he's been doing. Um, the 100 Effect, please take the time to log on and nominate those people out there that are making a difference. This year there's going to be another great award ceremony and, and you're going to want to make sure that the people that you know that are doing great things in our community are recognized. It only takes five minutes so take the time to do that. And of course Adlington, you know, they're just a great locally owned business. They've been here forever. Uh, we appreciate you supporting them and if you go in there and you tell them you saw them on the plush life that would be fantastic now last week there was an announcement that I had a grandson and this week I actually had another grandson so within 72 hours I had two grandbabies so I just want to say congratulations now to my daughter um, so two now my son had my first grandson and his name is Aiden and my daughter had my second grandson and his name is Bennett so congratulations to both of my kids on that and we hope that you'll all join us again next week for another really great show 